Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, I'm going to cover an exciting new feature of RHEL 8 Beta, which is session recording, which allows you to record what users are doing over an SSH session. To get started, the first thing we'll do is mount the RHEL 8 media, and then we'll CD um, into the AppStream slash packages directory and install a couple of RPMs. The first one we're going to install is the T-Log package. This provides the actual session recording functionality. And the second package we'll install is the cockpit session recording package, which provides the ability to manage session recording from the web-based cockpit interface. The recommended way to set up session recording is using SSSD. So what we'll do is we'll set up a very basic SSSD configuration file here that will manage the local user accounts on the system. So we'll set domain uh, local uh, ID provider to files and then we'll set the SSSD domains to local and we'll set services to NSSS, PAM, SSH, and sudo. Go ahead and save that file and we'll do a chmod 600 uh, to set the permissions on SSSD.conf. Alright, then we will go ahead and restart SSSD for those changes to take effect. And finally, we are going to enable the cockpit web-based interface by running systemctl enable dash dash now cockpit.socket. Once that's done, we'll switch over to the web browser and go to the local host on port 9090 to bring up the cockpit web-based interface. And we will log in as the root account. Once we're logged in, um, you notice that we now have a session recording option over here on the left-hand side. If we click on that, and then click on the configuration gear button. There's lots of options here. We're going to stick with the defaults and click save. And then for the SSSD configuration, we're going to set it to scope all, which means it'll record all SSSD user sessions. Now that that's set up, we're actually going to log in over SSH and test this out. So we will do an SSH um, as the Brian user on the local host, uh, host name. All right, we'll log in with a password. And you notice here it says, attention, your session is being recorded. That warning there is configurable. That's the default right now. Um, we'll run a couple of commands here. We will run ls, hostname, who am I, touch test file, remove test file, and then go ahead and exit out. We'll switch back to the cockpit web-based interface and go down to session recording again. You notice we now have a recording here um, for the Brian user. If we click on that and click play, we can now watch uh, what we just did on that recording. So we ran the ls, hostname, who am I, touch the file, and remove the file. And that was all recorded. Now if we want to watch this from the command line, we can look up the recording uh, using the journal ctl command to find the recording we're looking for. We'll do that by running journal ctl minus overbose, and we'll grep for a quote, rec, end quote. And then we'll use the tlog play command minus r journal dash m tlog underscore recording equals, and then we'll set it to that ID number that we found right here. And once we press enter, it's actually going to start replaying um, this file. So at this point, it's just playing back the recording. And we can again see what we had previously run. Session recording is a very uh, cool feature of Relate Beta, and I hope you found this video useful and get a chance to go out and try it out. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks and have a great day.